So caring for your microfiber is very important because you want it to last. One of the amazing things about Norwex microfiber is it has a two year warranty on it as long as you take good care of it. So um, what that means is that after you use it, you wanna make sure you always rub it together under hot water and then rinse it out, squeeze out all the water and hang it to dry. And that way you will guarantee that it's not gonna get all smelly and that kind of stuff. But after a while, you'll notice it does get a little bit um, dirty and you wanna give it a good clean. So I suggest you launder at least once a week after using it. And um, when you do wash them, you wanna make sure that you're using a laundry detergent that does not have any bleach or fabric softener in it. Okay, those two are big no-nos. So no bleach, no fabric softener. And ideally you don't wanna have any fillers either or anything like that because all they do is they end up forming a layer over the microfiber and then it makes it ineffective and it's not gonna be working so well anymore. So we have, it's called Ultra Power Plus. It is our laundry powder detergent and it is so concentrated that you only need to use one teaspoon for your front end loading washing machine, your HE machine. Or if you have a top loader, you need one tablespoon for a load. So it's an enzyme-based cleaner, super concentrated, and it's great for cleaning your, your Norex cloths, and also great for laundry, because you can see here it says it has no phosphates, no sulfates, no chlorine or bleach, no fillers, no dyes or fragrances, and it's 100% biodegradable. So even for babies with sensitive skin, or people who are prone to eczema and different skin diseases and stuff, this works really, really well. Um, so make sure you're washing your microfiber in detergent without any fillers and bleach and um, fabric softener. The other thing is when you put them in the dryer, because you can just throw them in the dryer afterwards, do not use dryer sheets. Those are probably one of the worst things we have in our home. Um, they have so many chemicals that end up coating the clothes, which goes on our skin, and our skin being the biggest organ, it only takes 26 seconds for all those chemicals to be absorbed into our bloodstream. So we have these wool dryer balls, they come in a set of three, and you can use these and they will help to fluff and tumble and, and keep all the clothes from getting staticky. Um, if you are noticing that the clothes are getting too much static, it could be because you're having too long of a drying time, so you can decrease it. And I've taken some aluminum foil and rolled it up into a ball and put it in there, and that seems to help separate some of the clothes as well. Um, so those are some of our main cleaning things that I really recommend. We also have here what's called an odor eliminator, and this is fantastic for people who have very, like if you have teenage boys with lots of stinky clothes and stuff like that, you can take just one little capsule and you would put it in the, in the tray where you normally would put the fabric softener and it just takes away all the smells. You can also dilute the odor eliminator and you can use it to wash, or sorry, to get rid of smells the way you would use Febreze in the house. So in the trash can, if you have pet stains or stinky shoes, stuff like that. So you can use the odor eliminator like that as well. There's also a stain remover and it's just going to um, having a facelift. So the new bottle is going to look like this same thing and the stain remover you're just going to soak stains in your clothes for a few minutes before you wash them and it's absolutely amazing at removing so many stains even after they've been washed i'll include a few before and after pictures just so you can see how well the stain remover works and norwex does have a laundry a liquid laundry detergent this is just a very small sample size but um, again it's highly concentrated so you only need like one or two pumps per load and um, yeah, so just make sure you are taking really good care of your microfiber and it will last you at least two years. And I know many consultants have had it for years and years. Technically they have tested and they can withstand 500 washes and more. So if you do the math once a week, 500 washes, that's like nine and a half years. And these cloths really do last that long. Um, once a month, you might want to give them a deep clean. So what you're going to do is take a pot of boiling water, about six to eight cups of water, once it's boiled, you're going to add about a, a scoop of the, the powder here. You'll see a scoop is almost about two tablespoons, so you might not even need that much. So that's the scoop size there, 30 milliliters. You'll add some of that to the pot and you'll turn off the stove and you'll put all the cloths in there and let them soak and you'll see all the dirt coming out, even though you've washed them, because that's just how well these cloths hang on to the dirt. So um, it's a good idea to give them a deep clean about once a month and once you've let them soak in the pot just let them cool down and when it's all cold you can take them out and launder them the way you normally would so yeah there you have it 
So I just boiled a big pot of water and added about half a, a scoop of the Ultra Power Plus, so about one tablespoon. And now I'm going to add the cloths. The water was boiling and I turned it off. And what I'm going to do now to give them a deep clean, I'm going to put them into the hot boiling water and I'm going to soak them in here. Okay, I'm going to take my tongs. Probably could have put one less cloth in here or maybe a little more water, but that's okay. So if you want to do this about once a month, that's really good to help get rid of all the dirt that just stays in there even when you launder it in the washing machine. Um, and you can let it sit in here until it's completely cold so you can handle it or some people even say 10 minutes is enough. but. Um, I guess you can gauge when you look in the water and see if it's getting dirty or not. So I'll come back and see how it's progressing. So um, I clearly added too many cloths, so I added a little bit more boiling water to the pot. And um, you can see here it's been about 10 minutes. And look how nasty that water is. It's so dirty and gross. But I'm going to let them soak here longer until it cools down at least. And then afterwards, I'm just going to throw them in the washing machine and wash them the way I normally would. And um, yeah, because you want to make sure you get rid of all the soap and stuff that's in there. You want to wash it properly. So anyway, just wanted to show you how deep cleaning is really effective and actually how disgusting it is, how dirty it really gets. So it shows you how it's really working. Um, yeah, so that's the deep cleaning method.